ship-to-ship -ship transfer operation is the transfer of cargo between seagoing ships positioned alongside each other, either while stationary or underway. Cargoes typically transferred via STS methods include crude oil, liquefied gas, bulk cargo, and petroleum products. Anish in Maritime Law on May 6, 2019 What is ship-to-ship -ship transfer, STS, and requirements to carry out the same? Ships like oil tankers and gas carriers carry huge amount of cargo in bulk which does not have to be unloaded in just one port but at different ports. Even some carriers like VLCC and ULCC which are massive in size does not berth in port or jetty for discharge operation due to draft restrictions. In such conditions ship-to-ship -ship transfer is utilized. A ship-to-ship -ship transfer becomes very economical as ship does not have to berth at the jetty especially for huge oil tankers, which removes the port berthing charges and also cuts short the time for berthing and mooring. But all these comes at a cost of high environmental pollution and fire risk as chances of leakage in operation is always there in open sea when ship is not moored or it is moving. Following are the requirements for conducting ship-to-ship -ship transfer operation, adequate training of oil tanker staff carrying out the operation. Proper SDS equipment to be present on both the vessels and they should be in good condition. Pre-planning of the operation with notifying the amount and type of cargo involved. Proper attention to the difference in freeboard and listing of both the vessel while transferring oil. Taking permission from the relevant port state authority. Properties of cargo involved to be known with available MSDS and UN number. A proper communication and communication channel to be set up between the ships. Dangers associated with the cargo like voc emission, chemical reaction etc. to be briefed to the entire crew involved in transfer. Firefighting and oil spill equipment to be present and crew to be well trained to use them in emergency. All guidelines to be followed as per MEPC 59, MARPOL Annex 1 Chapter 8, SOPEP, SMPEP, SDS Transfer Guide and Operational Plan. Following are the important features. The STS operation plan should be approved by administration. The STS operation plan is to be in the working language and to be approved not later than the date of first annual survey, intermediate or renewal under MARPOL and XIG, carried out on or after 1st Jan 2011. The guidelines of the STS plan should be in accordance with the requirements of IMO Manual on Oil Pollution Prevention. Amended Section 1. Ix and OSIMF. Ship-to-Ship -ship Transfer Guide. The plan may be incorporated in SMS required by the Chapter X of SOLA 74, but in any case plan is to be approved as required by the resolution. After an approval of administration on STS plan, operation before 1 April 2012 shall be in accordance to the plan as far as possible. The complete operation is to be recorded in Oil Record Book, ORB, and STS Operation Record Book, the above record to be retained in the ship for three years. Any oil tanker under STS plan operate under the territorial waters or exclusive economic zone of MARPOL. Must notify the following information to relevant coastal authority prior to 48 hours of the commencement of the STS operation.